Time now for your Motran Minute. Warning, Basin drivers first. Dustin Fossa with the Motran Alliance is breaking down more of the proposal to expand I-27 through the Basin. One reason Motran wants to conduct their own study is that they believe there are more viable routes that have not been considered. The bill filing and then also the study that I mentioned, no, neither one of them study a possibility of a route going down from Lubbock and then going a little bit further west over there to Seminole uh, and down US 385. And so that is a, a, another alternate route that we think that needs to be studied and looked at because of energy traffic, because of um, a lot of agriculture going on in Dawson County and Gaines County. Uh, and Andrews uh, has a significant energy development. And, and, and of course, Hector County, and then you go west of Hector, uh, you have uh, New Mexico, and then also the Delaware Basin, where significant energy impact and energy production takes place. According to House Bill 1079, by 2050, the population in Midland, Odessa is expected to increase by more than 700,000 people. Fawcett says this kind of expansion makes investing in the infrastructure in the basin absolutely vital. We want to prepare for that growth, prepare for the future. These are 30-year projects. So we just want to tell people, pump the brakes. Um, it's an exciting topic. You know, we don't have a, a, an interstate, north-south interstate, west of I-35 in Texas that's really uh, there to help out this, this, this huge area, this vast area. You can go 600 miles uh, in Texas without having one of these. Motran is currently working with our local representatives to include their own study in the discussion for expansion.